Hello there, my name is Sam Kripala from Tech7 and you are watching Phone Age. Today is a good day because yesterday my dad had his birthday party and not everyone ate everything and not everyone drank everything so we have a lot of things in the house that are very very yummy. As per this I'm stuffing my face with cake, drinking lots of very yummy things and treating myself to pizza today. As per events in the last few days, I'd like to offer my condolences to anyone who views our show in Japan. Paul and I would like to say that our thoughts are with you. We really do hope that you managed to pick yourself up from the horrific disasters that have happened in the last few days. However, moving on to the news, as per the disasters, some speculation has sparked as to how expensive gadgets will now become seeing as Japan's infrastructure is, of course, damaged. Towards the relief, Canon, Panasonic and Sony have offered $3.6 million. Mitsubishi has offered $6.1 million. Sony is offering 30,000 radios. Panasonic is offering 10,000 radios, 10,000 flashlights and 500,000 batteries. And NEC, Kyolera and Epson have offered $1.1 million. This is all in hope that Japan can hopefully pick itself up, rebuild its infrastructure and, of course, get back to what they do best. But of course, because of the disasters, 32 gigabyte NAND flash prices have risen by 18%. This is of course bearing in mind the fact that Japan creates 40% of the world's NAND flash, most of that coming from Toshiba. IHS iSupply said, suppliers are likely to encounter difficulties in getting raw material supplied and distributed and shipping products out. This is likely to cause disruption in semiconductor prices during the next two weeks. Jim Handy went on to say, it doesn't take a large production decrease to cause prices to increase dramatically. So it's an interesting thing to think about how expensive do you now think things are going to get? Because of course the disasters in Japan aren't just going to go away overnight. Moving on to a shorter piece of news, AT&T are now offering completely free calls to Japan between the 11th and 31st of March. Of course you can't escape the fact that this is a promotion stunt by AT&T, however it is pretty convenient. The fact that a lot of people in America have probably lost loved ones and they need to contact people who they feel might be hurt and or dead, it is really helpful of AT&T to offer this. So if you are on AT&T, you do have friends and family in Japan, feel free to call them, it's completely free of charge. Moving on to another piece of news, the iPhone 5 will apparently not have NFC support. Not that it won't have the software to do it, however, it will not come built in into the phone. Apple intend to skip it this year, saying that it doesn't want to omit or delay features it doesn't feel it can implement well. Which is a very good point, if Apple doesn't feel that it can implement this feature well, then it probably shouldn't even try and implement it at all. That's all I have time for today. I hope you've enjoyed today's show and if you have, please like it. I hope you like this real sharpness and ridiculous quality. You can see all of my imperfections. It's beautiful, isn't it? It's not beautiful for me, I can guarantee you that. If you would like to network with me a bit more, you can head on over to www.capl.at or you can, you know, see it over there. Uh, it's probably totally out of focus. You can use the contact form on my website to send me a message. You can go on Facebook, YouTube, so on and so forth. Thank you very much for watching and I look forward to seeing you all on Wednesday. <laughs>